Hello, I'm Karen Larson with a look at some of the top stories from 2 News Oklahoma. Green Country Rock fans are raving about a now sold out surprise concert. The band Green Day will perform Tuesday night at Kane's Ballroom downtown. Ticket sales opened Monday morning online only and they were gone within the hour. Not only is a ticket needed to get in, but proof of COVID vaccination is too. Attendees need to have their COVID vaccine card to get through the doors. The manager of Kane says some people are upset by this requirement, but the band is the one that's requiring the vaccination proof because Canes is an indoor venue and the recent spike in Delta variant cases here. It will be Green Day's first ever performance at Canes Ballroom. Max capacity is 1,700. They sold 1,500 tickets. Oklahoma Governor Kevin Stitt says the state is suing the U.S. Department of the Interior over the federal agency's plan to strip Oklahoma of its jurisdiction to regulate coal mining on tribal reservations. The suit the department is relying on a new and the governor says erroneous expansion of the U.S. Supreme Court's McGirt decision, which is limited to the application of federal criminal law. You can read the lawsuit for yourself through a link on our website, kgrh.com. Attorneys for Tulsa race massacre survivors and some descendants have filed open records requests for documents related to the search for massacre victims' graves. They say the three living survivors and a group of their descendants want access to the information. Investigators are now examining 19 sets of human remains that were exhumed from Tulsa's Oaklawn Cemetery downtown. Take a look at your 10-day forecast. You'll see something on there we haven't seen for a very long time. Looking ahead to next week, triple digits in the forecast, 99 for next Monday and Tuesday backtracking our weekend looking pretty steamy mid to upper 90s and in the next couple of days a Tuesday afternoon looking very very good 87 degrees that's a look at some of the stories making headlines stay with 2 News Oklahoma for more